Argentina's stock market also plunged by 6.5% on Monday, driven by sharp declines in prices for energy and bank shares. This comes after a number of high-level government changes over the weekend, including replacements for both the energy and production ministers. As President Mauricio Macri reshuffled his cabinet to address Argentina's economic crisis, unions and social movements continue to demonstrate against his neoliberal policies. The government of Argentina is looking to get out of the economic crisis by reshuffling Mauricio Macri's cabinet. The currency exchange rate is out of control and observers warn that following the continued rise of the dollar, the annual inflation rate is on track to reach 24 or 25 percent. Until there is drastic change, the results will be the same, economically speaking. Right now they are just playing with the government's funds in what is called financial speculation. I don't think there will be any changes anytime soon that will benefit the people. To avoid the ongoing devaluation of the peso against the dollar, the central bank attempted to carry out a set of preventive measures. Any setback to these would deepen the current crisis and as a direct result lead to more inflation. It's like sitting inside of a pressure cooker, waiting to explode. It's a very hard situation for a lot of people, for the middle class, for the working class, and it's really going to explode upon everyone over the next few years. It seems as if the fate of the current economic plan depends on the International Monetary Fund. A steep decrease in consumption by consumers has caused 7,000 medium and small-sized companies to close down and 75,000 people to lose their jobs in the industrial sector. The government says that workers' salaries are too high, and that's why they need to change labor standards. It's all about the salaries to them. In the midst of this economic turmoil, workers' unions have had enough, and they warn that the main problem doesn't just rely only on a decrease in consumption and production, but in the implemented measures that will ultimately increase poverty and strip workers' rights.